Hello and welcome to episode 171 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on showing how to experiment with cooking in order to learn new recipes. This, my dear Wormians, is one of the reasons why Worm is still in a class of its own. But before I go into a grand waffle, say hello, Rainstorm. Hi everyone, Rainstorm hello. here. Okay, so we're slowly working our way towards a feast fit for a king or a queen, but there is a problem. I do not know how to make one of the ingredients. Um, so let's bring up my recipe window and give you a little flash of what I'm actually talking about. So if I open up this little recipe window I've put here, I've got a recipe for a meal, and I'm not gonna show what the meal is because that's another episode, and it will hopefully be a good one. But as you can see here, one of the ingredients is red. And because it's red, it, that means that we do not know the recipe in order to make that. And that's why there's no plus, like there is for, say, chopped tomatoes. If you do the plus to the left of that, it shows you um, what the ingredients are and what tools you need and the skill. Well, we don't have any of that for raw, fresh pasta because we don't know the recipe. And if we try to search for the recipe, so if we say raw, raw, you'll notice that there is no raw pasta. And if we try typing pasta, there's still nothing. That's because our recipe book does not know about the recipe. So you would think, or you might assume, that there's no way then to learn that recipe, but how wrong you would be. And that's what the new cooking system in Worm, when they updated it all them months ago, that's the, the uh, fun that they have brought into the cooking side of the game, because you can actually experiment now and learn new recipes that you totally wouldn't have been able to make before. You can go out and obviously find chests and get recipes. You can hunt different creatures and get recipes, but you can sit at your oven and actually experiment to learn new recipes. So, how do we do this raw pasta? That's still the question. We know that the recipe exists, but our recipe book does not. Well, let's get real. How do you make pasta in real life? Brainstorm, do you want to tell us? Well, in real life, pasta would be made with um, if we're doing like egg noodles, it would be flour, egg, and water. If we're just doing plain raw pasta, it would be flour and water. So let's try that. Yeah, there you go. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We know a recipe in real life, so we're now going to experiment in worm with that recipe. So we're going to need some water for sure. So let's open that up over there. Uh, let's make the window a bit smaller. And what I want to do is also show my inventory and my skill list because we're going to be using cooking and you can see my cooking I've not really got that high with that because I've not got into the cooking yet which is why we're going there now Rainstorm and I um, maybe I can now start using this and getting my skill up but anyway so we need water also we're going to need some tools or a tool we're going to need a grindstone and in the last episode I mentioned about uh, getting your stone cutting up by making grindstones. That's actually what people used to use, but mistakenly I said that that's what I gr used to train with. It wasn't actually, it was... Um, Whetstones. Whetstones, that's it. And because, <laughs> thank you Rainstorm, because I used to do lots of smithing and mining and, and that's really what I enjoyed the most. And I kept on grinding and I ended up with a, well I've got a rare grindstone here, so I did grind them until I got that. But also I did have a whetstone which is since gone because I used it up, that's how much smithing I did. But I made another one. So that's what I originally did train the stone cutting skill with, was trying to get a rare whetstone. Which I did get in the end. So you're going to need a grindstone however, not a whetstone, we're going to need a grindstone and we're going to need some wheat because we're going to make some flour. That's the first step. So we're going to activate the grindstone. Let's now create some flour. 
And we'll create some more. There we go, right, so we got some flour. Let's put that back. Uh, we're going to need a pottery bowl to mix the different foods in. We're going to need um, a measuring jug. And we're going to need some eggs. And we're going to need a knife. Okay, so now what we do in this experimentation is we're first going to drop one flour into the pottery bowl. We're going to then drop one egg. And we're going to... First of all, we're going to check what that says. When you put your recipe, your different ingredients into the pottery bowl, so you put one food type in and then you put another, then right click on the actual pottery bowl and left click on law. Then you'll get some text down here. Have you tried a water? So it's saying try some water. So let's now then add some water. And I'm going to set my measuring jug to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to set my measuring jug to 10 grams. Okay, let's now drop some water in there. Let's now add that to the pottery bowl. Let's now right click the pottery bowl and left click law. Okay, so it now says you think this may well work if you used a knife, but not enough water looks like it should use between 320 and 480 grams okay so the way that we can do i'm going to do this let's drop the water back in the barrel so i'm now going to set the measuring jug to 200 grams the reason for that is i need between 320 and 480 grams in order for this recipe to progress and if we look at the measuring jug you'll notice it doesn't have a 400 grams so i'm simply going to fill this up to 200 grams twice in order to get to the 400 grams of water so let's fill it up once that's 200 grams let's fill it up a second time that's now 400 grams okay now let's right click on it and see what it says Go to law. You think this may well work if you used a knife. So let's now activate the knife. Let's now right click on the pottery bowl and law. You think this may well work. Oh, I was still saying that with the knife, but let's actually do it. So if I right click now this time and go to create food, lo and behold, you can now see raw fresh pasta. Even though you couldn't find it in your recipe book and uh, it doesn't find anything listed raw for pasta, it doesn't find pasta, nothing to do with it. Now though, however, we have discovered a recipe that once we successfully make it, we're then going to have a look in the recipe book to see if it's added in there. So let's do this. Okay, you see there it says recipe. Uh, fresh pasta added to your cookbook so let's open up the recipe panel let's type in pasta and there we go you can now see fresh pasta so there my dear viewers is how you can go about accumulating new recipes for your recipe book now, I was demonstrating this with raw pasta simply because it is one of the ingredients needed in this uh, really nice meal, or not meal, this really nice food when we actually get to that episode. So we've gone one step closer. But also, more importantly, you'll all now be able to have some fun trying to experiment with your cooking. So, Rainstorm, is there anything that uh, perhaps I missed? Or you think that I should have added during that? No, actually, I thought that was perfect. Yeah? Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Um, of course, I wouldn't have achieved that without all of your help and guidance, because 
you're the master chef round here so thank you to you for doing all the research behind all of that you're welcome okay so all right well that's the fresh pack fresh pasta we now know how to make it so now hopefully we're ready aren't we for the next episode which will be this lovely food yeah yeah right okay then so with that said if you'd like to say your goodbyes i will then say the outro because we are done and dusted with experimenting bye everyone have a great day thank you very much rainstorm for laying out all the ingredients all your time and help and explaining things and helping me in general with this episode much appreciated as always to everyone else, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.